what's going on youtube heroes gaming here coming at you guys with a 2024 season recap or end of season recap into the off season and i think it was very fitting for me to start at this time of the season where we were only three series away from starting the postseason and standing in our way were the houston astros and the Texas Rangers and it comes down to the very last game of the season and it gets very very tense it was pretty much a three-way race in the division us the Astros and the Rangers we needed to at least win the series against the Astros we needed to sweep the Texans and we needed to at least beat the White Sox once or twice we didn't really need to win the series but we needed to beat the white Sox because they were one of the worst teams in the league and we needed to win at least one or two games in that series and then we come away with a dominating series win against the astros and we beat them three to one we were looking really strong going towards the end of the season after the Astros series, we were a full three games up ahead of the Astros and we were tied with the Rangers. So all we really needed to do was win one game against the White Sox and then we can just sweep the Rangers and we're in the playoffs. Next up, we had our eyes set on the Chicago White Sox. They were not good. They were not going to make it to the playoffs. They were 65 and 91, one of the worst teams in the league this year and we thought that we can actually sweep them three games to nothing and we had all the confidence in the world that we were going to make it to the playoffs and we were probably going to win our division not only did we not lose the series to the white Sox, but they completely destroyed us and we lost the series three to nothing so now we are still in second place but we are one game back of the Rangers and the Astros are only two games back of us. And we needed to win the series against the Rangers. We needed to actually sweep the series against the Rangers for us to have any chances of making it to the postseason. And there you have it. We come away with the series win against the Rangers two to one. But was it good enough? to put ourselves in the postseason. Here are the updated records in the standings. The Astros, the Angels, and the Rangers all tied at 85 and 77. A three-way tie to end the season for the division race and a chance to get into the postseason. But how does that work does somebody play a play-in game to get into the playoffs or do they just go by season head-to-head -head records i didn't know no one knew in the chat someone looked it up and they told me that you're supposed to play a play-in game to see who gets into the playoffs well we never got the opportunity and i never seen that game play anywhere on the schedule so it was just a hope and see who was going to make it into the playoffs. And there you have it. We get the notice. We get the message. The Angels have finished the season at 85 and 71, a 529 average. Unfortunately, this wasn't good enough to make the postseason better luck next season. And as we turn and we look at the standings they give it to the houston astros who finished on a, on a five game winning streak to squeak their way into the postseason it was a heartbreaking finish we weren't even supposed to be this high but we still wanted to try our best to make it in the postseason but it was not our year very very disappointing way to end the season all we really needed to do was win one game against the white Sox, one of the worst teams in the league and we couldn't even make that happen so we had 
nothing else to do but wait until the next season. So now you're wondering, how did the playoffs turn out? Well, in the AL, we had Toronto as a 4 seed. We had Baltimore as a 5 seed. Houston made it as a 3 seed. Tampa Bay as a 6 seed. And New York as a 1 seed. And Minnesota as a 2 seed. In the NL, we had Arizona as a 4. Philadelphia as a 5. Chicago as a 3. Cincinnati as a 6. We had the Braves as a 2. And of course, the Dodgers as a 1 seed. Making it to the ALDS is going to be Baltimore. They best out Toronto 2-1. to one. And then Minnesota beats Houston 2 nothing. And the NLDS is going to be Arizona and LA. But then the Dodgers went ahead and already beat the Diamondbacks 3 to nothing in that series. And then Atlanta is going to be facing Chicago. They're currently up... 2-1 in that series making it to the alcs is going to be the new york yankees and they will be facing the minnesota twins they both sweep their series in the alds making it to the nlcs is going to be the dodgers who swept the diamondbacks and then the atlanta braves who bested out the chicago cubs 3-1 in their series and here we have our matchup of the Minnesota Twins going for their third World Series title against the LA Dodgers who are going for their eighth World Series title and the Minnesota Twins bested out the New York Yankees and then the Dodgers bested out the Atlanta Braves for a World Series matchup and there you have it ladies and gentlemen the Minnesota Twins have defeated the LA Dodgers in the 2024 World Series capturing their fourth ever World Series title and I know they are happy about that and I know everybody else is happy to see the LA Dodgers lose in the World Series and not be able to capture their eighth, their eighth championship so I know a lot of viewers are happy about that Minnesota Twins winning their fourth championship. It was a great season for them. And it was a disappointing season for us. But there will always be next season. And we are headed towards the offseason. So let's go ahead and check that out. As I go through some of the awards, I just want to mention that Corey Seager had an amazing amazing season he led the league in well he didn't lead the league he led the al in batting average he led the al in hits and doubles and home runs and rbis and runs and on base percentage and slugging percentage and OPS and batting war wins above replacement. Corey Seager had a monster, monster year. And so did we. We had a pretty good season. Um, I had to kind of mess with the uh, difficulty because we were doing a little bit too well in that category. So I had to mess with that a little bit. But uh, we had ourselves a pretty good season. We had we played 74 games, 290 at bats, 69 runs. We had 105 hits, 13 doubles. We only had two triples, but our speed isn't really that good. We also had 38 home runs, and that's where I had to mess with the difficulty a little bit because. In 74 games, 38 home runs is a very, very high clip. So I kind of lowered our um, batting contact and power. So that kind of little, uh, that kind of offset it a little bit. So we weren't getting that many home runs. We also had 23 walks and we struck out 61 times. So I, I like that. Um, our average was a 362, which again comes into play with um, with the difficulty. 
and I, I think we had a pretty good second half of the season. I was not expecting us to make the postseason or even have a chance to make a run towards the postseason. But whenever we got called up, the team was already doing pretty good. We were already in a good spot and a good position to make a run towards at least a wild card in the division. So I said, man, maybe we could try and and get something done. And, you know, we tried our best and came down towards the end and we almost did it, but we couldn't get there. The team did not make a big splash towards the end of the season. Well, towards the, the off season. We didn't make any notable signings. The only signings that uh, we really made was I think we signed Joey Gallo and then we signed a few other additions. We made a few other additions to the team as far as Kyle Hendricks and then we also signed um, I think it was if I can remember it was Tim Anderson but these signings are just signing older players that are already past their prime tim anderson is a 71 overall and then uh joey gallo is a 36 overall the only thing he's really good for is hitting home runs and you know how often is he going to do that kyle Hendricks is a 30 he's 35 years old he's a 77 overall so not really much not really much happened in the offseason as far as adding new and better players to the team. I am really, really hopeful for Logan uh, Ohapi. He really carried us towards the end of the season. And it was a very, very bright spot for us for um, at, ca at the catcher position. He had 28 home runs. And... His overall skyrocketed towards the end of the season. So that's one player I'm really, really hoping he actually takes it to the next level. He's only 25 years old now. So that is very, that's one hopeful spot that we have going into the next season. And then Mike Trout, his overall actually dropped from a 99 to a 98. He is 33 years old now. He had 47 home runs. And an average at a 306. But I think age has to come into play with his overall dropping because he still had a great season. So uh Mike Trout, he could be on his way down. We may have this season and next season two more full seasons of a good Mike Trout. And then his overall is gonna be really dropping. So do we ask for a trade? Do we ask for a trade out of um, the the LA Angels? I don't know yet. It just depends on how our season goes in, in the next two years. And the off seasons. Do we sign better players? Or do we just keep the same older players that we have on the team? And just rebuild through the farm system. So it's a lot to figure out going towards the the new season here and i don't know how good we are really going to be because we kind of have the same team we kind of have the same lineup and we kind of have the same uh rotation as far as pitching so it can go either way it can go up it can go down but another thing that's cool to see that um in our player card it's nice to see that we have the rookie of the year award that is a nice addition to road not to road to the show but to mlb the show this year is that you have an award tab where you can see all the awards that you've collected over your career so we are looking to collect a lot more awards this season gold glove silver slugger AL MVP, maybe a postseason MVP, All-Star, maybe a home run derby title. So there, there's a lot of optimism as far as us in our career in Road to the Show. But as a team, I don't think we will make the playoffs. 
we will have a strong push i know that we are ranked 18th overall as a team the astros are second the rangers are fifth the mariners are 13th and the a's are 30th so it's going to be another tight tight three-way race in the division and i don't mind just getting a wild card spot so we'll see how the um we'll see how this season um we'll see where this season takes us and if we're going to be battling for that division title or just be happy with a division title so thank you all for watching and it's going to be a great great season and as always until next time have a good day.